Hello and welcome back to European Avalis for El Dorado. We are currently taking over Jalof. We're going to take Brachna and Turkra. And I'm considering taking one more. I think I might take... Is this their capital? No, we might take Gallum. Just to give us the border with Mali so we can start claiming Mali stuff. As if we can do that, then we can move into Jean... And then we can move, we can just keep moving along and create kind of a line through Africa. Which will also stop their alliances being quite as annoying because you, you won't have to siege up like a huge line when just take each province as it comes. In fact, there's a pro there appears to be a country right here. So what we might want to do is we might want to take terms and then move into uh, this land and then we can take this country. Anyway, I also looked up the event for possible vassalization of Portugal. Apparently it's a small chance between 1550 and 1650 in Portugal suffering from Regency Council and we have a royal marriage and better than 100 relations we can get them as a vassal. We just get an event. Which is definitely what I'm aiming to do. We're already got most of the event covered anyway. So Portugal went to war with Cabu at the end of last episode and I suspect that they're going to try and full annex them. Which will be a bit annoying, but if we get that vassalization, it doesn't matter. So, we lose lots of natives and get disregarded natives, or we lose 40 ducats and get more settlers. Very easy choice. Okay, we were discovered while fabricating, that's fine. I don't really care what our aggressive expansion is against the African nations. End of religious turmoil. We lost the Battle of the Gold Coat. Against two. Jean? Oh. I didn't even notice that they'd come down here. That's not good. Morocco insulted us. We now have a claim on Morocco. We now have a reason to attack. Oh, and... Portugal lost this bit of land here, which means we might actually be able to get, we'll get more Sevilla trade power. Especially give, alright, no, I thought this was a, um, important centre, but still, very, very good. Can we just peace out with Jalof? I really don't want to lose our, uh, things. Yeah, we'll just take that. Oh, we need to wait for our claim to come through. Oh, they're fighting natives. That's perfect. We'll switch our leader over here. They have... Right, what's their uh, military tech like? Tech 7, and we are at tech 10. So we will destroy them if we fight. In fact, we're going to attack now. They have low manpower. Barbados is self-sustaining. We're not surprised to learn the Castilian... Oh, we've got the Castilian West Indies. My wife went to the West Indies, Jamaica. No, she went of her own accord. That's the only thing I know about them. That's my joke. Hope you like it. Antigua. And we'll get the person from Barbados over once. Do we get black flagged? That's not right. We shouldn't get black flagged. We might... Oh, it might be because we're in... Like, territory when they declared a war or something? Maybe? Um, I also really don't want to sit out here with these. So we'll send them back in. They killed our colony. Oh, because we were in a fight. We spawned... Oh, that's really annoying. We spawned... Um, what's it called? Natives. When we moved on to the province. But because we went in straight into a fight with Jean, the natives just destroyed the province because there was nobody to fight them. That, sh that shouldn't work that way. Right, we'll wait for them to repair and then we'll head back. I just want to kill uh, Jean's army. Perfect. Can we get peace? Oh, they don't even want peace. We'll uh, send someone to the Gold Coast. And let's just peace out. We want... Oh, we don't... We can't peace out. We don't have everything we need. 
Loan is coming due. We are... We did make money last one there, which is fine. Let's move out. Uh, let's move over here. Let's see. Uh, Max relations with Portugal. We'll recall that. Diplomat. Rebel uprising going to happen in Algeria. What have we got? Kasdar. And Oran again. Don't know why I would have lowered autonomy, but there you go. We'll spend the military points again. We're not in a position that we can fight rebels efficiently. And it's just, I think, worth it. Oh, they destroyed the Cape Coast because we weren't there. Great. We have... That's uh, just fantastic. Okay, Barks can go and sit in Sien. We're not going to lose that randomly. And these Cogs can head over to Barbados. Hopefully our colonist reaches here soon. Colonist is going to go there. Loan is coming due. Can't do anything about it. We can send another... Per we can go and try and convert another province. Let's go for Molina. Most of that's Catholic now. Right. And we got our claim. So we're going to take these two provinces. Because we have claims on them. Cost no diplo points. It's going to take his money. And we're going to take war reparations. Yeah. Seems good. Who wants an alliance? Corsica wants an alliance. Okay. They would accept being our vassal. So we need to remember that. Do they have claims or cores on anything? Where is it? On Aragon's land. We don't really want the alliance of Corsica. We just want to eat them once we get to Adventech 10. Which we're not too far off. The one is coming due. How much do we have to pay back? 1,000 gold. Okay. Well, let's send some of our people around. We actually got another couple of relation slots. Maybe we should help get some more alliances. Who do we want a lot to ally us? Let's have a look at who we have. We have Sweden, France, Aragon, Portugal. I think we have strong enough allies. Maybe we want to forcefully vassalize some people who are too far away for us to attack. This might be a good time to attack someone over here. If we could. Could we attack the Papal State? They're allied with Aquilia and Milan. What would happen if we declared war on them? We don't have a claim, but what would happen? Nobody else would join in, but we'd just be in the war ourselves. That could be a good vassal. Because taking Roma is generally bad. But... We would still have the land without actually having to take it. And then maybe we could get Milan as a vassal. Land's very large, that'd be good. Or Aquelia. Yeah, okay, so we'll start fabricating a claim over here. We're not going to do it instantly, but that will be the next place we'll head. Head in for actually attacking Europe. And... I forgot to see, who, had, who does Milan have as allies? France, Aquilia, Papal State. Okay, so we don't want to uh, co, co belligerent any of them when we do that. This is almost a core. If we raise autonomy in these places, they won't have a rebellion, I don't think. Oh, we, need, we haven't set these to core. Do that now. So, this army should start to reinforce now. Alliance offer from Tuscany. Will you be our vassal? Oh, Tuscany are small now. I don't even want them to be our vassal. They would, but I don't want them to be. We'll just eat them. Uh, we should start fabricating claims on more things. So, let's see... 
What can we fabricate flames on? Maybe more of Jalalf. So we'll start fabricating flames on Gallum. Can we fabricate flames on Mali? No, because we can't see it. What if we make this... Try and walk into there. Now we can see if we can fabricate flames on it. Relations improved with France. Very, very good. Um, how are our relations doing? Um, we need to bump Sweden up a little bit. We can't get Portugal up any higher, so... Let's go with Sweden. Make sure everyone's doing something. We can invest in new technology, more Diplotech. Seems good. Just keep going up there. That should also be lowering uh, Argon's liberty desire. Although their tech is still better than us. Yeah, we're not really making an awful lot of money from these colonies yet, but we will. It's all about the long game. Move them in here. Should probably move the people from Barbados to the new colony in Antigua. Right. So, all of our colonies are going. So we can move this these cogs back over here so we can start transporting everyone back to um, the mainland. Well, mainland Italy. Not mainland Spain. We probably want to split this army up at some point. Once it reinforces. So we'll wait till November. Then we'll split it in half and move it across. Split in half. We'll move the three across. Should be fine. Yep, we got natives but that nothing bad's gonna happen and then they'll both reinforce this turn maybe only this side did anyway it'll be all right boats are almost over here you can't actually go anywhere else the one is coming due continue the reconquista own sayuta gives us a hundred admin points. Oh, that's perfect. We actually do want to go to war with Morocco. I actually totally forgot about that. We should be fabricating claims in Morocco. Um, let's bring the person back from Sweden. We're almost at max, rela max relations anyway. Austria declared war on Aquelia. Interesting. Interesting. Can we get in on this somehow? No, we... Ah. I want them to declare war on Sienna, actually. Think about it. But that's fine. Oh, Ottomans are going to eat more hungry. With any luck, the Ottomans are going to go head to head with Austria. I'm going to end up with uh, like four blobs Sweden, France, Ottomans, Castile, and then have Austria in the middle. It's going to be uh, vicious for them. Stop losing prestige because of a drunken explorer. Still losing money though. I think I'm going to reduce inflation twice. Because the build cost, I believe, and inventory cost, I believe that does affect how much reinforcing costs. So if we do this twice, reinforcing should be cheaper. It is a lot of admin points, but it might be worth it. Anyway, fabricate on Morocco. Andra. We already have a claim on Ceuta. Oh, we got one from the mission. That's good. Rebel Uprising Fulani Rebels. Uh, we'll just... We, did we already raise autonomy? I don't even remember doing that. We'll raise autonomy here. 1.8 years. Cantor, Tekor, Brecken. We can't do it because their autonomy is too high. Yeah. Okay. We could only do it if it was actually 75. Hmm. We'll leave these people on top. We'll leave our troops on top of them then. Actually, we'll force a rebellion. I'm going to force it. Should fire any second now. Like, one that in month ends. 
I mean, we already have the troops here. So it's just about getting them to uh, clear out the rebels. More natives are appearing. All sorts is happening over here. We've got a claim on Roma. Okay. Can we get a claim on their other one? No. Um, no one else we really want to get a claim on up here. Lost some more money. It's going to increase our inflation again. We are kind of running through money. We might want to fire an advisor. Yeah, we'll fire this advisor. We've had him a while, but we probably don't need him anymore. And we don't have a reinforced speed one. So, that'll be fine. Should start making money again. Gonna keep our missionary strength advisor though, because we really need uh, the ability to convert. Okay, this doesn't appear to be firing a rebellion. One year. We can wait one year. Cantor is now part of our patrimony. Perfect. Right, I thought they were just sitting there. Ooh, why do we have heavy ships in that fleet? Aha! Uh -huh. This might have been costing us money. We have heavies sitting around with our uh, light ships. We don't need heavies doing that. We can mothball them. Should be making plenty of money at the end of this month. Yeah. Mad ducats. Aid natives has worn off, so we're going to get slightly slower colonies, but it's fine. Might want to start repaying loans when we can. How much... 186. Oh, it's going to be expensive. Yeah, so it's mostly a matter of uh, not doing anything too drastic that causes our entire country to fall apart right now. Military tech, we'll wait till the end of the year till we upgrade that. We can start repaying our loans, I think. No, we don't have quite enough. Oh, they must have just uh, reset. So we couldn't actually repay them because they just got more expensive. 188 by the end of the year. Well, that's how much the loan was. Right, we'll start repaying them. One at a time. And each loan we repay make, means that we start making more money. Uh, that's the dip diplomatic insult, cast spell. We don't care about that. The only one we'd care about is the claim on Ceuta. Spawn in 0 0.3 years. Should be any moment now. Um, we should be fabricating more claims. Can we fabricate another one on Jalof? Yep, on Tangent. Tagnant. And we'll start fabricating on Tunis. We haven't fabricated on Tunis in a while. Um, we'll go for their coast. Perfect, we're making cotton. This is still uh, ahead of time. Perfect, we got the rebellions in the two provinces we wanted. Morocco has started to become westernized. Oh, I've got bad news for you, Morocco, that's not going to happen. But it's actually really good news for us because they're going to have no army. It's going to have no money. Right, let's head up to Morocco. Get on the boats. Head up. This one can now move into that province. Come and start sending them in good numbers. Portugal to Call of Cabu. That's fine. We didn't expect them to live. And it's basically what we expected. Slaves will now be produced in the Gold Coast. Fantastic. 
Are they worth a lot nowadays? We could add these to our trading company straight away. Fit. Let's do that. Oh, we'll start a trading company. We didn't have one in here already? Um, we must have had one up here. I'm sure we did a trading company already. No? Okay. Well, we started one. That'll give us a bit more naval force limit. Oh, naval force limit. We got about 40 naval force limit around. Oh, great. We'll sacrifice a human heart to appease the comet. That's not going to make us money. It's no good at all. They've all attacked the Gold Coast. It's fine. Uh, get them. Move them over here. Uh, I want our troops. We'll move them up into Tangiers. Three Papal Influence for converting. Converting is a very expensive thing to do. It's costing us... Uh, well... It costs about a duck a month. It's not that expensive. But it's going to be well worth it when we uh, get good prices everywhere. And we have a merchant free? Why do we have a merchant? Oh, we must have just got one from here. Do we have... We Are we getting an extra merchant from there? Yes, we get an extra merchant because we have 51% of the prov province trade power in the region. Where's this for? West Africa. Yeah. That makes sense. And if we get to 10 cities with each of the colonial nations, we get merchants. Which, again, lots more money. Um, Well, now that we have another merchant, we could probably push from Tunis. That seems like the most sensible thing to do. And I think every time you push into your main province, that increases uh, the amount that you get there. Yeah, we get 10% extra for each merchant pushing in. Right. Loan is coming due. We can't repay it. We can get this new tech, but we won't do that till the end of the year. Rebel Uprising, Algerian Nationalists. A so demands. No. Can we just like... Uh, I just want to get them gone. We'll start putting troops in the provinces. Our boats are back down here. Let's just move them straight up like this. And end of the year, we got a new colony, Guadeloupe. We'll just start colonizing in the next province along. This is the right one, right? That's Guadeloupe. Let's move one down. And hopefully we will get all of the Caribbean done next time. We are going to get these two done next time as well probably and we're going to get all of our men back up here so that we can attack Morocco because we have that mission yep just working out what we need to do in the future so right yes um, after we get our men up here they'll all be in Mor we can attack Morocco, we can attack the Papal State, which will allow us to get toward Milan and we can get them as a vassal. All of this is very good, and all of this will be happening next time. I'll see you then.